Today, I'm at the library. This is where you get free books, free knowledge, and you can actually learn to read properly. Today I'm going to recommend some of the books I've been reading over the past year. So I'm going to start with The Tangible. I started this in early 2019. Um, I have a video all about how I read and how I got through this book. But yeah, it's a phenomenal kind of book for any designer, design systems, by Ella Kolomatavo, sorry I always get that name wrong, but it's definitely one of the best books for design systems and I've got an ebook that I highly recommend that's a good follow up to this read. The next book that I waited for for a really long time is it's basically the history of web design. It's called Web Design, the Evolution of the Digital World between uh, 1990 to today by Rob Ford from Favorite Website Awards. And it's just full of nostalgia. It's definitely kind of one of those things that you can leave on the coffee table. Right, the next things that I'm going to be covering is ebooks. A lot of my books actually on my MacBook and I mean a lot of these books come from the same source and that is a book apart these are kind of very small little books that are great for reading on like a flight two hour flight or three three hour flight you know the most recent that I've added to my collection is Expressive Design Systems which is the follow-up that I believe everybody should read once they've gone through this book. Um, it just goes and takes design systems to the next level and makes you think about a lot of the kind of processes and the obstacles that you have that are not necessarily as tangible as what gets covered inside this book and it really helps you identify principles and standards and things like that. Some of the other books that came out this year are Resilient Management, um, Everyday Information Architecture and Progressive Web Apps. If you haven't already, you must go see A Book Apart. Great, great, great website. I've literally read every single one of them. And often when people say, how do I keep on top of everything? And how do I know so much about so many topics? This is how I do it. I read constantly. 
A couple of other ebooks I got this year was uh, Form Design Patterns, which is a book all about different ways of constructing forms for your website. Uh, Meeting Design, which is a great book on how to prepare for, manage, and make sure that meetings don't get out of hand and they're really constructive. And then um, another ebook that I got was uh, Solving product design exercises, which is more of a workbook, but quite an interesting read. I listen to a lot of audiobooks on my phone, and I specifically use Audible a lot. And the latest book that I'm reading is called Made to Stick. And Made to Stick is all about how stories and ideas really stick with people as opposed to getting kind of lost in amongst all of the noise and it's really interesting it's it's like it borrows something from the tipping point and then takes a little bit further because how you get there and how you make things sticky and it's quite a fascinating read. I think it was Jonathan from AJ and Smart that might have recommended that. I stand to be corrected. Um, another really great book that I read this year was Atomic Habits, which is a way of basically breaking down the things that you, you want to do and make a habit into these micro bits. And ultimately, over a long period of time, you add all of these things up and you create long form habits but it's by just okay then the book that it's not design related but i feel that you know it's a great self-development book that i read last year was manifest now by idil uh, um ahmed who i mean sorry forget me uh, forgive me for saying that name wrong but She's this beautiful woman who has really put together a way of working on attracting abundance into your life. She has, she has a bunch of really great affirmations. And I mean, I listened to this book while driving back from Durban, which was a six hour drive and it really did keep me going and I barely even noticed that long trip because I was just so into listening to her audiobooks. I highly recommend her book. So I listen to audiobooks in the car, when I wake up in the morning, when I go to bed at night time, when I'm in the gym and whenever I need to pass some time. Okay, well that's got 1% juice. Uh, let me leave it for a little bit, go make a sandwich. <laughs> So something I want to do in 2020 is to read physical books more. I, fe I spend far too much time in front of screens and while I certainly, it's the only way I can get certain books, that's why I use my MacBook and my phone and my iPad. It's just, I don't think it's good for us and I feel that there's also a lot of literature that we're not getting when we focused on consuming all the current stuff i feel there's a lot of stuff out there and that's why i've been making trips to the library where there's a great amount of reference books and a great amount of non-fiction and yeah i do really even read any fiction anymore and i think that that's something i want to try to do this year i really do believe it contributes to a better vocabulary and a wider range of knowledge because I feel that what on what's coming to you at the uh, over the internet the the kind of blogs and things like that you're reading these are people's opinions and while they are very current and I'm and I'm not going to say that anybody isn't 
qualified to write. I mean, I, I, I don't feel that I'm that qualified. And by the way, I have been blogging almost every day. So best you get on my blog and, and start reading. But there's the link below. There, there, there's, there's the link. I do believe that these people who have written books over thousands and thousands of years, they probably have crafted things a little bit more and I think it's a better way to learn the English language, which is something that I personally feel that I need to improve on. I feel that the, my reading online has made me I don't know what the word is, but I feel a bit stupid. So I hope you follow my example and uh, get a few reads in this year. Right, so a couple of my Kindle reads on the old iPad that I got this year was one I got a workbook which is Design the, the Life You Love, and it's basically a book for self development, and it's more of a workbook than maybe a reference book but it's a really great uh, exercise in self-improvement then another book that I got uh, is do cool shit and that's basically about like quitting your job starting your own business and uh, living happily ever after it's kind of a nice kind of narrative around kind of doing your own thing then I actually have a printed copy of Manifest Now because I actually like to open this up and read out all of the affirmations that Adil gives. And so I often have it on my iPad. Then another book I got was Burn Your Portfolio. Um, and it's about like the stuff they don't teach you in design school and how you should do great work and let your work speak for itself rather than creating a portfolio. Lastly, the book that I got is This is Service Design Doing. And that's all about around service design and the actual work it takes, not just all the theory, the work it takes to bring service design alive in your organization. So guys, go look into those reads. There's links to every book down below. So it doesn't matter if you read on your phone, your MacBook, your iPad, physical books, audio books. It doesn't matter as long as you're reading. My name's Craig Jamison. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, like, leave a comment and stay cool.